As funny as it is heartfelt, this film is first-class date night material, if your date is man enough. Set in Joburg, Baby Mamas revolves around the daily lives, loves and drama of four career women navigating motherhood, the men in their lives and how to manage the good with the bad. On a getaway to the Winelands, we got the story from both sides of the camera, as Salamina stars opposite Jonathan and is one of two women who co-produced the film. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our own personal weekend retreat at Le Franchouk. Thank you, thank this is you. So, I'm a guest on top billing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Must be all I made really it. straight. <laughs> Mama, I made it. Finally. <laughs> so, Lamina, the movie follows the daily lives of four professional women who go through different stages of their own real-life baby mama drama. Where did the concept come from? We wanted to really look at single moms, because essentially that's what a baby mama is, and see what it is that adds to the drama from when you find out you're pregnant to breaking up with your baby daddy to maybe getting back with him. Him. It is tackling a serious issue. We want to make you think, but we don't want to depress you. Don't come here with your cheeks flattered. Why are you so angry? You know what you Since the best comedy and drama arise from real life situations, the filmmakers have kept it real. A strong, beautiful sisterhood is developed in this movie. Kay, why is it important to depict strong female characters? Personally, from the point of being a woman of color, we are taught to be isolated, silent. So to have a strong collective of, of women who support each other, who understand each other, who wants to be there for each other without getting anything in return is so important because a lot of the things women struggle with is in silence. But the minute we open up, then we see a load that is shared is much lighter to bear. But romance is never far off. Jono, you play an IT technician called Michael. What do you know about technology? <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to ask. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> well, you play Tolly's love interest. Tell me about your character. Michael is basically just whipped. <laughs> He's so whipped over Tolly. And uh, she doesn't even notice him in the beginning. Eventually, she kind of gets it without giving too much away. It's like she's got her baby daddy that's still in the picture who I'm kind of competing with. And the audience is, doesn't know which way to go. Should like they settle down as a family or should she go for the new nice guy? And it, so it's, there's like, quite a nice dynamic that's happening there. As part of top billing support for proudly South African film and tourism, we'd booked in to Le Franchuk Hotel and Spa, managed by Storm de Lange. Storm, I'm blown away by how beautiful the Franschhoek is. This is a fantastic destination over and above the majestic mountains that are behind us. We have 11 hectares of property that has such a rich history seeped in the Franschhoek Valley. It goes back to 1945 where a Swiss hotelier had a guest house here. Thereafter sold it to the Maskees of Franschhoek who absolutely built it up to what it is today. What can we expect from our stay? Harmony, when you walk through the doors of Le Franchuk, you're greeted by the smiling receptionists that offer you a glass of sparkling wine. We've got such wonderful facilities for our guests to enjoy during the summer. We've got the swimming pool. We also have a jacuzzi, which helps you on the cold winter nights. And then, of course, as you walk around and you go past the garden area, we've got the 11 hectares of property. We've got a tennis court. We've got a fantastic spa facility on our property, managed by Camelot Spa. And they've got wonderful treatment rooms and a lovely relaxation area to end off your day. I heard they are lavish villas. Our lavish villas are absolutely a masterpiece. It can sleep up to four guests. You have your own kitchenette area. As you open the balcony doors, you actually look over the vineyards in front of us and then again the mountains. After the stress of making the movie, Kira Schmidt's best therapies were welcome. Hey, Kira. Hi, Harmony. I brought some friends along to unwind a little bit. What would you recommend? I would definitely recommend the Camelot Universal Massage. Uh, it's got various massage techniques, such as our hot stone, kahuna, and Balinese, and it is our signature massage for the spa. What's kahuna? So kahuna is also known as our Hawaiian massage, and it's, we use our forearms, our knuckles, and it's very dance-like rhythmic sort of motion. The film is an education in what women talk about when men aren't around. Kay, you play Chantelle who's young with a fresh outlook on life. How does her character progress throughout the film? She starts out and as she journeys through the film, she has to let go of her younger, innocent side. And she needs to start making adult decisions, not just making decisions for herself, but also for the life that is on its way. That for me was a beautiful thing. 
Much of the struggle and comedy in the film arises from partners who are conflicted about fatherhood. We know a lot of men, whether it is your sister, your cousin, your friend, your auntie's ex-husband who was not ready to have a baby. We know them. Those boys are all around us. It wasn't that difficult or that far away from home to go and search for my baby daddy. Jono, I've only spent a couple hours with these ladies and they are incredible. What was it like working with them? I'm going to apologize in advance if this answer doesn't come across as intelligent, but this foot massage is like frying my brain right now. It's so good. <laughs> No, it's, it, honestly, it was amazing. Like the last, the last two movies I've done were stories that were directed, produced, and written by women. So it's just so cool to be part of this movement at the moment, where women, women are telling their stories, you know. And uh, women are just better storytellers in general. So it's it's nice to get these female voices in cinema because it's been so long. It's been a long time coming. It's awesome to be part of it. Salamina co-produced the film with writer and director Stefina Zwani. They spent two years battling to fund their movie, but it's paying off handsomely. Wow, this actually reminds me of a scene in the movie where the four girls go out for a weekend retreat. So much fun was had, mm. on camera and off camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great location and um, I think it's just great as, as young women to just connect. And also that we did it in the spur of the moment. Yes. Shows how women must just take time for them as friends and also as individuals. Selamina, we're in an age where there's a female empowerment movement happening across the globe. How important is it to reinforce this message to women here in South Africa? I think for us as producers, um, we want to be telling the kind of stories we want to be watching. Um, and for the longest time, conversation has been driven by other people. You really want your stories to be relatable, but also aspirational. And I think, you know, when we find a special way to unpack even the heavy issues, it can sometimes really be life-changing. And what was it like working with Jono? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> So, as you can see, Exhibit 1, <laughs> Exhibit 2, the birds. <laughs> one of the festivals that we got, there was a whole discussion after we screened the film about the birds. And, you know, one of the questions was, where are those birds going? Like... <laughs> you know, it's funny because a lot of the time I have to cover up my tattoos yeah. because it doesn't, it doesn't fit the character. So I thought they would make me cover up the tattoos, which they didn't, which is always a relief because I feel it's part of me. But it backfired in this because they ended up stealing my thunder. These birds are like, it's not like that was a really good performance. It's like, man, your birds were really good. The birds are really cool. <laughs> what would you like audiences to take away from this movie and why should they go watch it? Anytime that South African talent is put on uh, the spotlight like this, um, all South Africans should be excited. And it's fun, guys. It's fun. I promise it's fun. Do you guys want to know where the birds go or don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the movie has certainly found its wings. Baby Mamas brought a fresh take on South African film to festivals from Toronto to New York. Among the favorite elements with fans at home and abroad is one particular relationship. I'm glad I found the two of you together because you play love interest in the movie. How would you describe your on-screen relationship? I think it works because firstly, it's a little unexpected. Michael's like the guy who the guys are going to hate because they're going to get home after the date and the woman's going to be like, why don't you treat oh. me like that? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He's like that guy. Yeah. It is like a fairy tale kind of romance. It's yeah, like it's, of, it's sweet, it's yeah. romantic. Which is and nice, I think we need that now. You know, a lot, that a lot world. of that, yeah. Mm. And can we expect a kissing scene? <laughs> uh-huh, of course you can, maybe more than one. Maybe I get a little bit topless, you maybe. don't know, you have to watch Who the knows? movie to find out. How do I kiss, by the way? John, no, I don't kiss and tell, really. I kiss, but you can still say maybe that I kiss well there. Just... I think Tony enjoyed it. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Okay. One thing we have in common is that we all want presenter search. How did that impact your career? That was a really, I think I came third. Yeah, I came third in the presenter search. Um, but then I got the call a couple of months afterwards to join the family. And it was fantastic. 
There were so many trips. I remember I met Eric Banner, Sarah Jessica Parker. I think I have many, many happy memories on, on Top Billing. You grow up watching the show and yeah. dreaming of being on the show. Yeah. Um, it's the biggest platform for any performer in this country. So this is just completely surreal. Like yeah. It's a dream to be interviewed by Top Billing. It's a dream to be in a movie on the big screen. Yeah. This is like a dream within a dream, Top Billing <laughs> interviewing us for the movie in this beautiful surrounding. It's just, this is it, man. This yeah. is it doesn't get any better than this. The distributors have such confidence in this film, they've released it in nearly 60 cinemas across sub-Saharan Africa. The start of what could be many hit movies from these fun, young women filmmakers.